Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the Title Minute. On today's episode of the Title Minute, I'm going to actually provide some title education as far as items that can come up on the preliminary title report, specifically an uninsured deed. Now, if you take a look back at some of our other Title Minute videos, we explain some of the exceptions that can come up on a preliminary title report. Well, I'm going to share with you a real life example of what happened with one uninsured deed on a property. Now, if you remember, an uninsured deed is a deed that's recorded on real property without title insurance, meaning it didn't happen during a purchase or a refinance transaction. In most situations, it's fairly simple to clear an uninsured deed exception on a title report simply by having all parties complete and have notarized an uninsured deed affidavit, thereby stating for the record on the chain of title that yes, this deed, although an uninsured, all parties agreed to have this recorded so we can vest through that uninsured deed. Here's something really interesting that happened. The reason why we have to have that uninsured deed affidavit completed is without title insurance, we have no way of verifying that that is an actual deed that should have been recorded on the property. So last week we had a transaction where an uninsured deed was recorded on the property. When we look further, the uninsured deed was actually fraudulent. The owners had no idea that this had been recorded on their property. They had their signatures forged and a notary actually signed and notarized this document. Now, the reason why I want to share this story with you is so that you understand when we need that uninsured deed affidavit to be completed. It's precisely for this situation. It's to verify the chain of title. Otherwise, anyone could record a deed on a property and in essence, steal the property from you. As a title insurance company, we have the ability to verify those deeds and through the title curative process, ensure that the right person has the authority to sell the property. And that way, everyone's interest in their real estate is secure. When we ask you to fill out these uninsured deed affidavits, there are real use case scenarios as to why we have to confirm that those uninsured deeds are valid for the chain of title. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of the Title Minute. Stay safe, everybody, and take care.